for defence industry. Will the minister update the House on how the recent announcement to acquire 211 combat reconnaissance vehicles will not only deliver the best capability to our military, but also create jobs around Australia? The Minister for Defence Industry has the call. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Fairfax for his question. Uh, recently, the Prime Minister and I and the Minister for Defence announced the largest acquisition in the Army's history, a $15.7 billion vehicle acquisition, the Combat Reconnaissance Vehicles, uh, which will protect our soldiers, uh, offering them the best safety, the greatest lethality uh, in the battlefield. It is a step change for the Army in its capability. After a very long process between uh, Rheinmetall and BAE, Rheinmetall won the contract for that massive acquisition. So we are supporting our capability. It's $15.7 billion over the life of the project. $10.2 billion of that will be spent in Australia. $5.2 billion in acquisition, of which $2.8 billion will be spent in Australia. When the tender was first started, the two bidders expected to do 5 per cent Australian industry content. By the end of the process, that announced 55 per cent Australian industry content in the acquisition phase and 70 per cent Australian industry content over the life of that project. So that is $10.2 billion being put into our economy, growing jobs, growing investment. 40 businesses in the supply chain of Ryan Mattel will be beneficiaries because of this government's decision to back Australian industry, high technology, advanced manufacturing. In Queensland alone, it's worth $1.8 billion in acquisition, 330 jobs, 1,450 jobs overall. Companies like All Plates, DGH Engineering, Frontline Manufacturing, GNO Kurt, GCI Group, Heatec, IntelliDesign, Niowa, Penske. In Victoria, of course, because all these projects are national projects, Victoria will get $635 million in the acquisition phase alone, creating 170 jobs. Companies like Nescot, Supercat, Tectonica, AW Bell, CableX, Albans, AME, APT, Extel. The list is endless, Mr. Speaker, of Australian businesses that, because this government is backing Australian business in defence, are growing their jobs, growing our economy. We will get to 2 per cent of GDP on defence spending a year in advance of what we had promised. By stark contrast, Mr Speaker, under Labor they took our defence spending to the lowest level since 1938, since the last year of appeasement—1.56 per cent. That was the contrast. This government delivering capability, jobs, growth in the economy, that side using defence as a, something they can cut in order to give more money away.